Now children, we are doing practice set 16 about multiplication, okay? The first question is, if 317 into 45 is this much, then what is 3.17 into 4.5? Means these numbers, the same digits are there. Here, this is having a two digit, uh, uh, decimal place and this is having one decimal place. So what will be the answer they are asking, okay? So it is simple. What you have to do? <coughs> the product of this is already given. Okay. And so the answer will have the same digits. But how many decimal places? Here there is two. Here there is one. So total three. So one, two, three. Three decimal places for the answer. So the answer will have the same digits with three decimal places. Two for this and one for this total three decimal places and here also same way 503 into 213 is this much we have given then what is the what is 5.03 into 2.17 here you will get two decimal places here two decimal places here so total is four okay so you will write 109151 and you will put how many Four decimal places. So the answer will be 10.9151. Okay. This is what you get. So this is a simple question. First and second one. Okay. Now next third question is multiply. The first one given is these two numbers. So what will you do? You can use this method. Into 14 you can do. Okay. Forgetting the decimals. 7 fours are 28 to carry, 2 fours are 8, 8 plus 2, 10. Then uh, put a 0 here, 7 ones are 7 and 2, one, uh, two, uh, two ones are 2. Then you will add these 7, 3. So you will get answer 3, 7, 8 and how much, how many decimal places you will put 1 here, 1 here. Means this is the answer you will Get. Okay, so this is how you solve the, I have used a method where you will first forget the decimal points and multiply and last you will put the total decimal points in both the numbers given. Okay, now next question is 6.17 and 3.9. Here also what will you do? Forget the, forget the decimals and do the multiplication. 7, 9, 63. Carry 6 here, 1 9 are 9, 9 plus 6 will give you 15, 1 carry, 6 9 are, third, uh, 6 9 are 54, 6 9 are 54 and 54 plus 1, 55. Next one put a 0, 7 3 are 21, 2 carry, 1 3 are 3, 3 plus 2 will give you 5, 6 3s are 18, you will add these 3, 5, 5 plus 5 10, 1 carry here, 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 plus 8 will give you 14, 1 carry here, this will be 2, now what will you write, 2, 4, 0, 5, 3, you will write and how many decimal places 2 here, 1 here means 3 decimal places in total. So this is how you multiply 2 decimal fractions. Okay. The next question given is 0 0.57 and 2. So you will multiply 57 into 2 first. 14 1 carry and you will write 1 1 4 and put two decimal points okay so you got the answer 1.14 next question is 5.04 and into 0 0.7 now 504 which is equal to you will write as 504 into 7 you will do uh, 4 7 sa 28 to carry 0 7 sa 0, 0, plus 2, 2, 5, 7, sa, 35. So the answer will be 3, 5, 2, 8. And how many decimal?
is my point zero code here. One, two, three. So the answer will be three point five two eight. Okay. Next we are going to solve a problem. Okay, Virendra bought eighteen bags of rice. Each bag weighs five point two five zero kg. So how much rice did he buy together? So total rice we have to find. Okay, total rice will be what? Eighteen into five point two five zero. Okay, so what will you do? You can do into eighteen. Okay, zero means you can forget the zero and do also. Without zero also you can do. Okay, you can write five twenty five into eighteen. Okay, this zero doesn't have any significance. Okay, after this, if we put two more zeros or one zero, it will be having the same value. Okay, now five eight is a forty four carry forty uh, eight is sixteen sixteen plus four twenty two carry forty two and zero five three five zero five four Nine, so we will get nine four five zero. Okay, then this is five twenty five into eighteen. Now now five two five zero into eighteen will be what? We will have to put one more zero, right? Now you will put three decimal points. That means you will have ninety four point five. So how much total rice he bought is ninety four point five zero you can get five zero zero means half half kg right for kg you have to put three decimal places so the answer will be ninety four ninety four point five zero zero kg means ninety four and a half kg okay so here what I am doing is here there are It is two five two five zero. Okay, the number is five two five zero. But um, for multiplying, for easy method, I am doing five two five into eighteen. Then I will in the answer I will put a zero. Okay, okay. Then answer I put uh, I put a zero. Then here in the, uh, uh, including these two, how much total decimal place three? So I put three decimal places here. So the answer will be ninety four point five zero zero kg. So this is the total rice. Okay. Now they have given there is one more part for the uh, question that is forty two rupees per kg. So this much kg. So forty two rupees for, uh, per kg means total price you have to find. Okay. Forty two rupees. Okay. So forty two rupees per kg means. For you have to do forty two into ninety four point five zero zero. Okay. Now here again the multiplication is happening. We will first let me first multiply these two. Okay, forgetting same way as we did here. First without keeping this uh, zeros, I do nine forty five into forty two. Okay, just simplifying. Okay, ten one carry nine eighteen zero. Twenty two carry sixteen seventeen eighteen one carry uh, thirty six plus one thirty seven zero nine sixteen one nine three so you will get three nine six nine zero when you multiply these two now here it is nine four five zero zero right so you will put two zeros more I I I put only I didn't put a zero, two zeros here. I'll put two zeros in the answer. Now, how many decimal places I have to put? This here, three decimal places. So the answer I got is answer will be in rupees. Okay, this is three. Okay, three nine six nine means three thousand nine hundred and sixty nine rupees. He'll have to pay for how much? How much kg? Ninety four point five zero zero kg. Okay, so this is how you solve the problem, fourth one. Now going to the next problem. Vetika has twenty three point five zero meter cloth. 
she used it to make five curtains of equal size. If each curtain requires 4 meter 25 centimeter to make, how much cloth is left over? So each making five, five uh, curtains and uh, each curtain is this much. This you can write as 4.25 meter also. Okay. Two decimal places, 4 meter centimeter, it will be a two decimal places, decimal fraction. 4.25 meter, okay. So, each curtain. So, total, how much, how much uh, total used, how much cloth is used, how will you find out? 5 into, 5 into 4.25, okay. So, you will do the multiplication here. 4 to 5 into 5 you can do 25 to carry 12 1 carry 2 1 you will get 2 1 2 5 how many decimal places so this much is the total used now how much left over so they are the question last question is left over how much is there okay so this much cloth is needed and this much cloth Vedika was having. So what is the leftover? 23.50 minus 21.25. You will minus this. You will get 5, 2, 2 here. Okay, so the answer will be 2.25 meter of cloth will be left over. Okay. So here you are doing multiplication and a subtraction also. Multiplication of decimal fractions and subtraction of decimal fractions. Okay. So with this, the multiplication of decimal fraction is done. Next we will learn the next topic tomorrow. Till then bye children.